Android 4.4 KitKat has been officially released, but unless you've already got a Nexus 5 in hand, you probably don't have it. Luckily, there are some builds out there that you can put on your own device, like we did with our Nexus 4, to get the Android KitKat experience there. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Let's go hands on with KitKat on the Nexus 4. This is my Nexus 4, and I'm running an AOSP version of Android 4.4. It is running kernel version 3.4.0, not some of the rumors that we're going to make a big jump up in that. And you can see kind of what we've got down here. This is not the official ROM. There are going to be some, uh, some hiccups and some things that aren't going to be there when the official ROM comes out for this. But let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we tap on the Android version. We get a nice big K. We press and hold, and we get... Android. There's also a uh, kind of fun little thing that we can get to. Sometimes I can get to it, sometimes I can't. Long press there. See if we can long press again. And now here's our little immersive game with all the versions of Android that you can just tap and whatnot. The first time you run this, it tells you to get out of this mode. You want to swipe down from the top and that will bring up your, uh, your buttons animated up from the bottom. I think that's kind of a hint at the immersive mode that is supposed to be coming in Android 4.4. Let's go back into settings. First of all, settings themselves. Here's our notification shade and our quick toggles. So pretty much what we're used to. Location has a new icon, which ironically looks exactly like it should be. It's no longer a GPS satellite or an X marks the spot or a target. It's now an I am here location pin. Finally, that makes sense and, and it works. Settings is now a cog, looks a little bit different than it did before. Up here, you can see that as well, it kind of carries through. Everything is pretty much the same. There are, of course, some changes in here. To go into more, you can see just a little bit of stuff down here. New mobile plan is listed. Uh, T-Mobile doesn't have any provisioning website for it, so it's not going to show you anything there, unfortunately. So we'll just go right past that. Bluetooth looks almost identical. We come on down here. We now have a home which we can quickly and easily choose our launcher and even get rid of one. Uh, this is just the stock launcher that comes with AOSP. Coming on down here, we have a tap and pay. This has a link that says learn more. Mine doesn't do anything. If yours does, post it down in the comment. Let us know what it does for you there. Uh, theoretically, this would integrate with Google Wallet. I've installed Google Wallet, but there's no cross integration, at least not on this ROM. Location, we've shown you this in the past. We have a mode up here, and that's really all you need to worry about is that mode. You can come into high accuracy, battery saving, or device only. Uh, kind of interesting the way that they've decided to, to use that, uh, and, and I don't know why. Uh, high accuracy should be everything or device only, and then you should have battery saving as two options. So it kind of is interesting that they've separated them out that way, but they have. Then you've got recent requests for your location. So you can see what apps are trying to find out where you are. Location services right now, Google location reporting is on and Google search and Google play services have both used the low battery version of finding out where I am. So it's just kind of a rough location, but I can see what apps are finding out where I am right here quickly, easily. And if there's anything suspicious in there, I can take action on it. You can also quickly turn it off if you want to. Coming back in here, just continue heading down. Same account section that we are already used to. Pretty much the same thing that you are used to seeing there. Of course, as you add new services, you'll get new items in here like Dropbox and whatnot. We now have printing, which does that. I'm sure it's supposed to do more than that, but right now it just does that. That tells me that I need to go to the, uh, the Play Store. I need to download an app. Uh, Google Cloud Print or something, or uh, somebody else's cloud printing service. And then uh, theoretically that's going to show up here in this list and I'll be able to select defaults and make changes and I, I don't know. We'll have to see how that turns out, but that's where you get to that. And then of course, we've already shown you about phone. So that's the nuts and bolts back in there. Show you that, just you know, regular stuff that we're already used to. Nothing big there. Before I jump into the home, let's go into the app drawer. First of all, you'll notice there is no more uh, apps and widgets. That's gone. You also now have no little icon up here to jump quickly and easily to the Play Store. That's interesting because I got really used to that and it was right there. Now I have to go and find it alphabetically in the list. 
but that's what they've done. You can see I've just installed a very slim set of my favorite apps. This is still rooted, so uh, bear that in mind when you're watching everything that goes through here. I haven't done anything special with uh, with Super Sue, you know, completely empty list. So, but it's there. Coming back in here, you'll notice now that still has kind of the animation icon or the animation uh, to it, the the zoom in, zoom out, and that's pretty much it. Very basic, very simple. We've got you know, five icons across and five icons down. Easy cheesy. Okay, good. Now the fun part. You want to add something to the home screen and it's an app, you can do that easily. Let's go ahead and put maps same way that you're used to, just like that. If you want to do that to another page, you can do that just like that. Now, if you notice down here on my, my little dots, not my messages, my little dots to indicate what page I'm on, I have four home screens. This one, that one, my main one, and then Google Plus. Yes, it's now Google Plus. Downside to doing Google Plus this way is if you want to dismiss these cards that way, you can't because it takes you back to your home screen. You now have to do it the other way to dismiss it, which is okay. I just kind of got used to flinging back and forth. And if I do that now, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, well, it's the cost of progress. You can still get into it by pulling up from the bottom. It just does the animation off to the side as well. So kind of interesting that they did that. Back to our little uh, icons down here. Let's say I don't want to have four screens. I just want to have three. I move that back there. And now you notice I now only have three. There's nothing off to the side anymore. So it automatically adds those. Does that go on forever? I don't know yet. Uh, I've only done a maximum of four. And if you want to play with it and let us know how many you have, feel free. Let us know down in the comments. Next, how do we change wallpaper and get widgets? Tap and hold, just like that. And now you can thumb through here, kind of honeycomb-like. Remember when we could do this in honeycomb and we had this kind of dock or this tray down at the bottom? Well, now we can do the same thing here with KitKat. We can go into wallpapers. And for some reason that didn't do anything for me. Wallpapers will launch the, uh, the wallpaper picker and everything is in here. All of your wallpapers, including your live wallpaper, all in one big long list. So you don't have to know the difference between them. They're all just wallpapers. You set it and there you go. Just quick, easy, simple, just like that. Next up in there, we've got widgets. Tap on that. Here are your widgets. You can you know, quickly and easily grab one just like you used to. Tap it drag it wherever you want. You still have the widgets that scoot out of the way, the icons scoot out of the way to make room for it. Really quick, really easy, a simple way to do it. Last but not least is we have settings. So you can get settings all about, in this case, Google Now, and just kind of basic stuff that you can do with your launcher right here. Another fun thing is, and I've used this long enough that I no longer have this little animation up in, in here that tells you stuff to say. I'm not gonna say it right now because then it'll do stuff. Uh, little animation that pops out and says, say this keyword, and it does stuff. So we can, and it's listening at least. We thought it was only going to be the Nexus 5 that was listening. This is a Nexus 4, and okay, Google, what's the weather going to be like today? Just as easy as that, you can see I've got an always on, at least when I'm on one of my home screens, uh, listener. Okay, Google. How tall is the Empire State Building? Just as easy as that. Again, coming back, and I know I can continue searching from that screen. I'm trying to show you here. I'm not touching the phone, just saying, okay, Google, call Texas Roadhouse Steakhouse. So quickly and easily from my home screen, I can very, very conveniently get to all kinds of stuff and use the power that is in Google Now without leaving that home screen. In fact, without even touching the home screen. Very convenient, I like it, and I've already impressed my friends with it, so there you go. So that's been a first look at KitKat on the Nexus 4. It is by no means official code. There is lots and lots of rough edges that you're going to run into. I'm getting a calendar error about every five minutes. That having been said, the overall experience is very nice. It's smooth, it's fluid, I like it, and I like the subtle yet profound changes that are there. But I'm curious to know what you think. Head down to the comments, let us know what you thought of the video, and if you've already flashed this on your phone, let us know what you thought of it there as well. 
If you want to follow us on social media, we are there and we would love to see you there and carry the conversation there as well. We're on Facebook, we're on Google+, we're on Instagram, we're even at PocketNow on Twitter. I'm on Twitter too, I'm at Joe Levi. For PocketNow, showing off KitKat, I'll see you next time.